All right, students, we're going to be making a song with loops, which are like sections of a song that are short and can be repeated with different layers. So you have like a bass loop, a drum loop, chord loop, and we'll be making our, our own songs. So when you create a new track in, or a new project in BandLab, you'll see this window. We're going to click on Browse Loops. Over on the right, you'll see that there is a variety of these packs, but we're going to click on packs themselves. And there's this whole list, okay? So all these different genres of loops. We're going to click down to Retro City Pop. And here's an example of a song that was made with this pack. Okay, for fun, here's a Turbo Trap one. All right, so let's do Retro City Pop. We're gonna click on it. Now, we have all these different things in here. So we have bass loops. We have beats, which are drums, chords, fills. So notice on the right, we have the type of loop, you know, bass, chords, guitar, lead, which is like melody. Then we also have the tempo at which they were recorded and the key. The key is actually pretty important. For instance, if I try combining this bass loop in B major with this keys loop in C sharp minor, here's what it'll sound like. Actually, that one might work, but typically you want to try to keep them in the same key if you see a lot in B major, okay? But let's just roll with this. So I want to find a good beat in there, okay? So I can drag it in, click pause, and, or I can just double click. All right. To get rid of a track, I just right click and I click delete track. So let's say I want this to last until measure five. I just need to click up on the top right of the track and just drag it to the right. And notice how when I get near measure five, it, it automatically snaps or it's kind of like magnet to that line. You'll see it become magnetized to each of these lines in between as well. Those would be your quarter notes or your beats. So for fun, I'm going to start over. I'm going to delete these tracks, and we're going to start with uh, a beat. Okay, I'm going to start with a more chill beat, and then I'm going to add the other beat in as well after about four measures. So now we're arranging a little song here. So I got two beats, and then I need a bass line. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. I can change the volume with this volume slider of individual instruments, and I can also use the solo or mute functions to isolate any instrument that I want. So there's just the bass. So I can mute that or I can solo it. All right, now we need some chords. It's not a song yet, so we have some harmony in there. Cool, so I'm gonna double click. And um, I want the harmony to come in later, just for some reason. Um, I think I will have this guitar part start immediately and go till here. Then I'll have another guitar part happen here. So to zoom in and out, we use the control left or right arrow keys. Uh, we can also just move this to the left or right to scroll ahead. Um, if I want to get rid of this window at any time, I do believe I just click on, just unclick loops. Okay, but we'll keep the loops window open. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, interesting. So the goal is to get to a minute, which is way over here. So 
A minute's going to be at measure, at this tempo, it's going to be at about measure 25. So I could drag these loops out until measure 25, but that's going to get kind of boring if I just leave it that way the whole time. So part of the skill you need to learn is arranging, and that's where you take the different elements and you arrange them like puzzle pieces over time to be interesting. So let's just take a few of these samples and and maybe f like for this section, I want to chop up the chords and I, I don't want the chords to play between measures 13 and 17. I'm going to use uh, the S tool. So if I click S, it will chop the audio wherever the cursor is, the white line that I'm moving. So if I move it to 17 and hit S after I selected this chord, boom. So now I can delete this, hitting backspace, and it's gone. Okay, so that little break was nice. It kind of gave me something fresh to listen to. So why don't you get started? We're going to keep it with Retro City Pop for now, and then I'll let you explore all the other loop packs and make a different song. But we want to get to a minute of music, and we want it to look something like this. Uh, take some time and have some fun with it. All right, guys, see you later.